another trapdoor moment. It's the 26th of March, and this time it's not web design, it's not app building, it's product photography, video production, creative direction. And if that's your world, then this is where the floor drops out. And I've been there. The moment came overnight, triggered by the launch of OpenAI's 4.0 image generation, built right into ChatGPT, and suddenly it's not theory anymore. It's not almost there, it's there. The stuff is here, it works, and it's only getting better. And look, I strongly believe it's AI's job to get us 80% of the way, and that last 20% relies on humans. That's judgment, taste, strategy, earned human skills, and, and that's not going anywhere. But what I saw this morning, I was up crazy early looking at all this stuff, made me realize creatives are next in line. So here's what this thing can really do. I'll walk you through what I've already made today, and then let's talk about the upside, because I'm convinced there's more opportunity here than threat. So what's the difference? We've been generating images with within ChatGPT forever, so why is this so interesting? Well, let me, let me show you what's happened overnight. So this morning I woke up and the first thing I did was uh, said, make my studio look more epic, and fed it one of my random pictures, and that picture became this super cool, oops, uh, super cool blue light, trendy, it's tidied up my Kanban board, it's changed my dopper bottle, it's given me a wonky keyboard, but at a glance, really, really cool. Made it hot as well. Uh, my kid, he wanted to see, she wanted to see what her penguin looked like riding on the back of a Pegasus. So we were able to take that picture and with a single prompt, give it this. It's taken the exact penguin, made it slightly cleaner, and stuck it on the back of a Pegasus in like a little delicate painting. This stuff I couldn't have done last, I couldn't have done this yesterday. I would not have known how to do this yesterday. Uh, my other kid wanted his toy in the arms of a gorilla. And there he is. So to show you the picture down there. And then how about in a mad scientist's hand with a diamond glowing weapon. And again, there we go. Gorilla, mad scientist from one little picture there of Wobbly Bob. Cool, interesting, playful. How do we turn this into money? How is this going to threaten the livelihoods of creatives? I needed an object that I could spin up an entire marketing campaign around and I was like looking around like what it could be. And obviously something I thought would be really fun would be the Dopper Bottle. The Dopper Bottle's a, a not very well known brand in the UK. Um, they don't ship here I think because of Brexit rules. Uh, and it's a really unique shape. So I thought there's a chance it just won't be able to understand what I'm trying to get over to it. There won't be many Dopper Bottles in the mind, in the neural network of, of OpenAI's back end. They probably won't be able to generate a Dopper Bottle. So I took this picture and fed it in with a couple of prompts. I think I took the messaging from their website and just said, look, they're a sustainable bottle brand. That's everything. Let's just see some lifestyle shots. Let's say we want to upgrade the pictures on their website. Um, and immediately with really little prompting at all, I was able to pull out lifestyle stuff, abstract imagery, nice little kind of Ikea-y style stuff, take it outdoors, put it in a... The proportions are off here, but you can see I could put it on a feet, I could put it in a stream, and it's done a halfway decent job. And this is just me rushing around of getting the branding on there correct. And it's just all this is all from that single picture. Uh, here it's added way too many letters and stuff, but and the, the lid's not metal, as you should be a metal lid. But I was suddenly like blown away. This was doing an incredible job from that one picture. Could I take this to the next level and pull out some editorial out of this? If I was to think about a branded shoot. So I want to take these items on a shoot. We're going to have some. We're going to have some models. We're going to have art director. We're going to come up with a, a concept. Lo and behold, as I was kind of messing around, we managed to pull together. Well, just off the back of some prompts, ChatGPT did a fantastic job of cohesion of the Dopper bottle. We never quite nailed the metal lid. Um, came up with this idea of a man walking past with his Dopper bottle, past a, a pile of plastic bottles. We got this, uh, you didn't make this mess, but you're cleaning it up. It came up with a strap, strap line, which is really cool. Tried adding a caption here, did an okay job. You didn't make this mess, but you're cleaning up. I didn't, didn't love the placement of that. But again, this is all just off the back of prompts. I've not at any point touched a camera or Photoshop or Canva or anything like that. And moving down then again, I started looking at like cohesive people. Can we get people on a photo shoot uh, in a funky urban area? So we've got dudes in colourful clothes. Um, mostly look like the same people. Maybe not Maybe not him, but these, these three, these two people, pretty much looking really consistent across the shoot. They're holding the item. Actually, the fingers are obscuring the brand, which helps a bit. 
in this close-up, the branding's actually not too bad at all from reality. Um, I sent them outdoors. I wondered if I could take them, change their outfits, and put them in a new location. And uh, another random dude showed up too. And all just capable, all, all just doable on my phone as I was messing around uh, at the gym in between sets. If you've not messed around with image generation a lot, then I'm not sure you'll understand how monumental this is. Yesterday, none of this was possible. I never could have created this myself with just prompts yesterday. I maybe could have trained up uh, a Laura. I maybe could have used some extravagant comfy UI setup to get there by pre-training it with hundreds of images of the bottle. But this is overnight completely changed so many facets of the creative industry. That left me with one thing left to try. I've seen other people doing this and uh, it was graphic design. So I was just grabbing some screenshots of drinks ads that I thought would be cool with the Dopper bottle on instead. And I'd fed them in straight up screenshots like this and each one of them came out very well. The text looks like text and uh, it followed the cohesion of the image, but, but rebranded it, renamed it, reworded it to match the brand. So this is me feeding in this and saying, okay, now put the dopper bottle onto a ad like this, please. And this is my favorite, of course, the classic, join the reusable revolution. I don't know if it got that from their website. It's really good. And the brand, I think the brand is bang on there, almost. Uh, yeah, incredible, incredible. That's amazing. Now I've seen thousands and thousands of people messing with this stuff, doing this exact same thing. It does mean we're gonna go through a period of just copying each other, but that's what that's what we're going towards anyway. So we're all feeling the pain of that trap door locking out. And I think one of the issues here that's gonna be painful is client expectations. Every client is gonna expect a world-class photo shoot quality image is delivered. Every proposal that wins the, the RFP, you know, the request for a proposal, everyone that wins will be the one with these images on because they're gonna look incredible. They're gonna be matched to the brand that you're pitching to. That quality bar will be raised even at the lower end. But this isn't bad if your strength is visual communication, which, you know, it's not one of mine really. I've worked with incredible creative directors and branding guys who understand at an instinctive level and through deep education and passion, visual communication. You know the difference between a tilt, a pan, uh, an aperture, uh, an f-stop, a, a, the lens length, and that language you can trend and that experience you can bring that to these prompts. I think it's going to be amazing for pre visualization. I think it's going to be incredible for small brands that just were never going to have a big shoot anyway. And as we've already seen, e commerce are making hay, they're going crazy, they are making thousands upon thousands of ad iterations, all copying each other, all copying the best performers, and uh, that, that little tornado of creativity is spinning off over there. Prompting is just directing. So if you see things visually or communicate things visually, we all see things visually, you're in a massive advantage. So let's take a reality check and see where we are considering this is day one. This, this stuff is slow. It reminds me of Dali 2 back when that launched in 23, 22. Slow, crashy, buggy. Your best images would get halfway through coming to life and then just crash and break. There's still obvious weirdness in the outputs proportions might not be right, wording won't be correct, but day one. So these tools don't remove the creative, but they do move the creative. We're moving away from execution to quality and direction being more important. And now is the time, I think, to experiment. You can't ignore this stuff or bury your head in the sand. I don't think anyone is doing that anyway. But figuring out how you're gonna get 80% of this work done to a brilliant level using generative AI, saving that 20% for human taste, human experience, human judgment, human strategy, that's what is going to win you this race. You just need to learn how to talk to these tools and experiment and share and see what you can do. Experimenting is the next big step to do. See what you can do, try everything. I don't do a lot of product-based marketing for any of my clients really, so how do I fit this amazing new groundbreaking tool into the lead generation space? I've got ideas, I've managed to not do any of them today, but they're on the list and I would love to see what you're up to too. Comment, if you think I'm wild and crazy and this is completely wrong, let me know, I'd love to hear the other side. Thank you, speak soon. I hope I press record.